Hey, what's up everyone? This is Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video, I'm gonna show you a way to very quickly and easily make sure that all external loops that you drag and drop into Logic will automatically adapt to your Logic project's tempo. So to start, I'm just gonna set the tempo of my project to 117, and none of the loops I'm gonna be using for this demonstration will be at 117. So let's start off with a beat. We've got this uh, disco beat here from Splice. And that's 112 BPM. So I'll go ahead and buy that. And then I'm gonna drag and drop it in to Logic. And it's gonna ask if you wanna convert the sample rate of the file or convert the sample rate of the project. Here, I'll go ahead and convert the sample rate of the file to match the sample rate of my project. And as you can see, because that is a 112 loop and we're in a 117 project, the loop does not line up with the bar line. It's not a perfect four bar loop. So the old school way of doing this is you would come in here with your snap modes, one of your snap modes, and then you would hold option and use the time compress or time expansion tool to line that up with the bar line. That's sort of the old school way of manually adjusting the tempo of loops. We wanna get away from that and there is a much easier way to do this. So let's go ahead and set this up. So first things first, up in your LCD display up here, there's gonna be an option here that says keep. This is your project tempo menu, and this will also bring you to your smart tempo project settings. So for this, you do wanna keep this on keep because that means that the project tempo is not going to change. If you were to use adapt, then the project tempo is gonna change to match the loop. So we're gonna keep this on keep and then go to your smart tempo project settings. And from here, where it says defaults for flex and follow region setting, go to set imported files to and turn this on. And what that's gonna do is it's going to automatically adapt the tempo of any loop that we drag in to match it to our project tempo. So let's go ahead and drag in that drum loop again. It's going to give us an option here to edit the downbeat. If you have a loop that doesn't start on the downbeat and maybe starts you know, somewhere else, you may have to go into the smart tempo editor here and you can adjust where the downbeat is. So let's say maybe this is the downbeat. I can click there and that'll create a downbeat hint, but that's you know more advanced than what we're trying to do here. We just want these loops that start on the first downbeat to match up with our project tempo. And now you can see that our drum beat here is matching up with our tempo at 117 BPM. So every four bars, we're getting a new loop. And this will work for any other external loops that you drag in. It's not just loops from Splice. Any external file that you drag in, it will attempt to determine the original file's tempo and adapt it to Logic's tempo. So let's add like a bass in here. I'll search up Disco Bass. And here's one that I've already bought. And that is 107. So let's drag that in. I'm gonna not show the tempo editor, the smart tempo editor. And as you can see here, we have a perfect eight bar loop. If you use the loop tool to loop it out, you can also click on it and press control L to convert those loops to real copies or convert to regions. And then let's add in one more instrument. I'll search up synth arps. Yeah, let's use this one. now. The only thing you're not going to be able to do here is it's not going to be able to detect the key of the loops. You're going to have to figure that out based on how they're labeled. Um, this loop, when I listen to it, totally does not sound like it's an E major. I think that's in a minor key. It's probably in the relative minor of E major. But one way I like to check is I'll just throw the tuner on that track. And if it starts on the tonic note, just give it a listen. Yeah, so sure, sure enough, the first note is C sharp, which means that we're really in C sharp minor here, not E major. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and change the key up here to C sharp minor. That's not gonna have any sort of bearing on any of the loops that we drag in, but it will have a bearing on your chord track if you choose to use some session players. 
And this will also help if you are incorporating Apple Loops from Logic's Loop Library. So let's go ahead and drag this in. That was 125 BPM. And sure enough, you can see it has trimmed this up to be an eight bar loop and we can loop that out. And there you go, that's how you can use your Smart Tempo project settings to make any external loops adapt to Logic's project tempo. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see other tutorials or a specific tutorial for something that's been stumping you, please leave a comment below and let me know what that is. I try to answer as many questions as I can and certain questions that I can't answer just in a comment in text, I'll often answer by making a new video. So please leave any uh, ideas or any questions you have in the comments below. So once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.